All right, hello and welcome haulers back to City Skylines. So, we have a problem on our hands as you can see. I do believe I've solved it. I tried to cheat at first, see if I could just delete the building, which of course they're smarter than I am so they made it so that you can't. Oh my god, what is this fire truck doing? Why did it- I think we have to do some traffic management there because I don't know if you guys saw but it went through the intersection went down this way instead of coming across. But I, I did set up a fire station, so we now have fire, so they can take care of this before it becomes an issue. The building's a loss at this point. They're going, uh, what is it, defensive? That was fast. Wow. But, yeah, so I have this modded one. I don't remember what the name of it or whoever it is. I apologize. Uh, let's see if we can find out. Let me get out of the cinematic camera. We're going to pause. That's not fire. Uh, suburban fire station from Lakewood, Colorado. Fire station number one. I don't know who that is, I apologize. I'll eventually get around to crediting everyone as, as I, much as I can in the description below. I'll probably put a list. It's not going to be right off the bat, just because that takes time to work on and I want to get this series out. And because of that, I've got to have that trade-off. But whoever made it, thank you. It's actually cheaper. Oh my god, I'm like fighting hiccups. Not, not a great time to be recording with hiccups. But it's actually $2,000 cheaper. So what we're going to do is we also need to place in... And this also, I should say, has coverage of this entire area. So that's good. We need to place in police department. Which... I guess eventually we'll have to do two. I guess that one can cover kind of the north, maybe? Why well, won't it cover that road at all? I guess we'll place that up there. That covers that. We need to place in the schools. We'll place in a school. Man, I don't know what it is, but... These roads do not like to connect to each other. probably do it like next to the the lake here we got what an elementary school now and that only reached up to here so I'll probably put another one well how do I get it so did it that'll work we're really low on cash now so we can't do any sort of medical facilities so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this run now Oop. Oh, that's the button for it. Okay. So I, I gotta learn all the buttons for this game. I'm sorry. But yeah, so back in Avalonia, everything seems to be going well now. We've got the fire control for all this area, so we don't have to worry about that. Residential is skyrocketing, so we should probably consider going further south here. Uh, I am considering extending the industrial out this way more. I want to limit them to that area for right now, because eventually once I get fur fur wow once i get far enough down here i'll end up making this all probably being residential curving around with commercial and then all of this will be highway over to industrial that sort of deal but what we're going to do is we're actually going to start down here with i'm going to turn that off oops come down here We'll do a little offshoot here, and it can run down here, which will end up having a bridge probably that goes across here, but for now it's just going to be like a dead end. And then probably keep up what we're doing where we've got like the duplicating type of thing where we kind of match it. That's too far over. So maybe something like that. Uh, and then this road here. Which I need to make that. But we're out of money. What we can do temporarily is zone this. And then we'll come back and hook up water and power and all that stuff. Actually, once we get done with this, we can just have the power... 
running from here over. My concern too is I need to watch this so that this doesn't get too close. So we're going to run everything for a little bit. I'm going to hike up taxes again, which is our go-to. Well, let me look at a loan. I don't want to take out too many loans because then we have to pay a ton of money. This one, however, <sighs> it'll ha it has 10% interest, so it'll cost us an extra 6000 over time. But it's 260 weeks at 253 a week, which is awesome. And I'm considering taking that one out. We'll pay off the one that we have of the 14000 And that way we only have the one. And then, so what we'll do is we'll take this, pay that, so that we have that, and that's all set. We'll finish building this road layout here. And I'm building everything well time is stopped so that it's not... Um, we're not costing money as we're building the road when we could be making money, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Well, I think maybe it's time to start branching this out this way. How are we going to do this? This will probably end up connecting like that. So what I'm actually going to do now is we're going to make this a curved road. And we're going to bring it out just like that. And then this one will be That's a little too close. Uh That looks about right. We'll just need to change the direction of it, which uh How do I do that? Roads how do I change the direction? I don't remember, honestly, how to change the direction. There we go. Okay, so you just right-click on it, and that changes all this. That should be heading into town. Perfect. That actually came out really nice, curving off like that. I'm surprised. But what we'll do now... I want to keep this kind of theme going with, like, the different out spots. I think it just looks cleaner. I just like that, and I think it'll be better for traffic management. So, I think instead of doing this the way that I've got it, I'm going to take all of this out, and this will kind of be the main outer road here, and then we'll do the same thing with the connectors, so we'll do like, that, so instead of being curved the other way, it'll be that way. Alright, so I've got this somewhat set up here to where um, we've got it how I wanted it, where all these roads come off, we've got the limited intersections. This is kind of too many, I think, right here. I'd prefer to do less, so I think what I'm going to do is just to space these two out to kind of keep some sort of segmented area, is we're actually going to connect up. Well, do I want... well, we can... We'll connect up these two, so the earth, so these two that would have been like arms on this side. Well, so we've got it down there. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should just do that down here too. Connect those up so that it's all these are together. And then, oh well, that's what I forgot. I did that for a reason. Well, that's fine if that's connected. What I might do instead is have... Because I want these guys to be able to go both ways from industry. I want them to be able to go down. What I might do is instead of having them on the side, put it right in the center. So like this. People aren't going to like that, they can get over it, I'm sorry. And that way, I've got this space here. Everyone can flow down to the center road here if they need to. It's not perfect, but I'm trying to kind of make everything somewhat similar, so if I'm going to do that, 
part of me wants to do this right here instead of having it off to the end. Just to sort of have everything kind of not symmetrical, but same format so that these intersections aren't horribly close. And we could use one like right here. Which I might do. Just as a turnaround spot, maybe. We could even consider just connecting these like that. Just for now. And then we can zone that little area for residential here. So that's that. These are all set here. We need to zone that. Basically anything that we changed, we need to rezone. So that's all set there. So we still got the commercial... I would call this commercial street, probably. Just because there's a road where I'm near that is that. We'll zone that for residential. Next thing is going to be hooking up power. Now, I don't know if I want to keep the commercial thing going. What we'll do is we're going to wait. We're not even going to touch the zoning on the rest of this for right now. Part of me wants to get this all hooked up so that it's... And my, my plan eventually, too, is we'll probably have trains that run down the center here or something like that. Huh, how do I want to do this? I guess let's just start... I'm going to clear this off. I don't want to have this zone yet. People can move in here if they want. We're going to hook up water. Let's do that. Toggle that. Just going to hook up this one. And we'll end up coming back through and cleaning up the little details later too, so don't be concerned. Eventually this will all be exactly as it should as it can be. We're gonna run this this way, and then over just like that. So that powers that. And I guess let's just let everything run for a little bit. See how everything's doing. We'll have to really look at expanding our police and stuff here pretty quick. What was that? You can see all the new stuff we'll have to move in, too. I'm considering getting rid of the power lines down here. As if I really wanted to, I could just take and run this out and then straight up that way. But for now, this is okay. We're still bringing money. We're going to look at taxes again real quick. We're going to hike them up for a short period of time. Just to bring in some cash. Alright, well we got achievement here, rolling in dough. Which is good. I'm gonna keep this going a little bit longer. Alright, now we're gonna take this again and drop it back down to 12. So everyone will go back to being happy. And that just brought in a ton of money for us, so we can go through and upgrade stuff. You can see the pollution over here. So the first thing I want to look at is garbage does not reach down here I believe yeah so we need garbage set up for down here and I don't know kind of want to keep this street going because this here is going to be a highway eventually so what I might do is we'll make this road that actually ended up working out better than I realized because this can end up being the highway entrance here uh, I don't know if I have highway. Six lane two way. People aren't going to like that. That's okay. I'm sorry. That's not really a highway, I don't think, though. But it'll work for now, kind of to get the basic thing set up. 
Because then what we're going to do is we're going to keep this commercial barrier and set up more little industry stuff over here. Oh, you can see this whole river is polluted. I hope I can clean that up or something down the road. If I can't, then we're kind of in trouble. Um, what do I want to do here? Alright, so... I've built a Frankenstein n nightmare here. Uh, so what I wanted to do here is we've got this main road coming off. This runs out here to this little area here, which will be its own city. I wanted to connect the highway here, and I don't have one of the built-in, like, drop-in-place ones. So I wanted to do it by hand. And it's not pretty. Uh, it kind of, it works. That's about it. So what I'll end up doing is we'll come back and we'll fix this at another point in time. I'll probably end up pulling this out to here, out to here, and that way this runs straight across. But we've got um, three lanes, two lanes that go across, and then two lanes that come down, because I've only got the two lane. But what I want to do is try and see if I can't set up How do I set this? Okay. So right lane is off. And... Actually, I guess that's set up automatically. So that's... I mean, I, that'll work. That way everything's set. But that way, industry can come this way and get on the highway. What I might do... I don't know, because they've got this ramp here where they can go wherever to. What I might do is put a little road that comes off here straight on the highway. Because they can just go down here and turn around and do loop or whatever rather than going through this city on the junction, because as you can see, it's probably better now, but it's starting to get a little congested on this main road. So I want to pack the highway a little more with uh, traffic. And what is this? Is it a rail bridge? Yeah, it is rail. But we'll come back to that. We'll fix that later. But everything seems to be going well otherwise. Uh, however, water is no longer hooked up to power. Let's... Uh, Hook that up. That's not what I want. Uh, how do I do this? How do I make it so... I guess let's just do it the old-fashioned way. I'm trying to use move it. Is that powered up now? Yeah, so everything's powered up. What I'm gonna do is we need to we're way low on money because of all this construction here. Trying to build that. I think this will all end up being industrial here. So we'll zone that out. This obviously won't get zoned. Uh, and this obviously won't get zoned. For right now. But that way we've got an, an industrial area where people can go. Ugh, that looks so ugly. I don't like it. <laughs> It's not going bad so far. I think this is coming out a little bit cleaner than I thought it would. I like how this layout is working for me. But I desperately need to get some other stuff built. We need to make money again. Population is going down. And I don't know why. What's all this? Does this help maybe? Healthcare is definitely there. We don't have... Nope. Budget's not too high. Why is everything going down? Maybe it's all just fluctuating. I am going to try the tax trick again. Just for a couple to see if we can make back some of that money. Just until people decide they get sick of us. Already people are sick of us because we just did it. I don't care if one, two, three, four, five people move out. That's okay with me. Alright, now it's at zero. Now we have no choice. Drop that back down to 12. And everyone should be happy again. Hopefully, we're not losing people. We'll go back to the positive. But let me know what you guys are thinking of the series so far. This is all new to me, so I'm I'm learning as I go. You guys can kind of see how I'm learning little bits here and there. Obviously, I've got some knowledge from years and years and years of watching people play this game on, like, 
how I'm laying out my roads or how I'm doing things. Like, there's a thought process behind it that's based around design, having followed design for years as a graphic designer and as someone who... One of the career paths I was considering when I was younger was interior design, and I've always been into engineering and road layouts. Like, I love all these little things that have to do with this. So hopefully, cross your fingers, I can keep this going, and we'll come out of this with a very, very good-looking city. I like this area right now. Not sure about this piece. Hey, look at that, 1,600. So we fit 1,600 people, which is awesome, and we got a good stack of cash for it. However, it looks like we're running out of workers. Are people using this highway on-ramp? They are, so that's working. Whoa, look at the bridge. All the industry trucks. The nice thing is, is that industry can go out this way, though, instead of having to go through the city. So traffic should be pretty good. Still 85. This is a tough junction here. Places like this would be perfect for a roundabout, but I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Like, I'm kind of going on American thoughts here. Uh, when it comes to road layout and stuff like that. Like, this here is a very standard American on-ramp, off-ramp. Uh, I know in the UK it's, or like in Europe, it's a little different in some areas, but they do have these. Um, but I know in like Sweden or places like that, I think it's Sweden, that I've seen because I drive in Euro truck, obviously. Uh, they have like the ones where you get off the highway and it's a roundabout underneath this bridge section here, which we can consider doing. Uh, at some point, but for right now, we're just going to stick to the standard layout. We'll upgrade these roads as we go down the center here, so we'll have this main stretch. And I'll probably end up changing this whole thing out later, once I get this more organized. Uh, that way this is all like, like for me, it drives me, well, I guess it's okay because these are even here, but it drives me nuts having this split up a little bit. I guess it works for what it is, it ended up being laid out okay, but... But I'm rambling. That is what it is. I apologize. Also, let me know. Do you want longer videos? Do you want shorter videos? Like, I'm new to this when it comes to making videos for City Skylines. So I don't know what people are interested in. If you're interested in longer videos, let me know. Uh, I don't have anything against making them. But I think the shorter end of things is where I'm most comfortable right now. I'm just seeing what works, what people like. So, any input you have makes all the difference. But, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. As you guys know... Well, I screwed that up again. There we go. Uh, as you guys know, if you like the video, go ahead and leave me a like. Let me know you like it. Let me know you want to see more. It makes a difference. Uh, if you didn't like the video, you know what? Let me know too. That matters just as much. Uh... Leave a comment down below. Names, ideas, tips and tricks, anything. I want to hear it. Let me know. But other than that, actually, I should say too, if you if you like the series I'm putting out and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button because it does make the difference uh, for me to see, hey, people want to see this. Um, and I can see kind of as I go along what people like and what people don't through that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.